gonna go out. Is that what this is? Okay, I'll pause for you. Hi, good morning. <laughs> okay, okay. work done. Let's go. Let's go out. Where is it? Where is it? Let's go. Come on. Come on. Do you want to take a walk? There you go. Good girl. Let's go. It stormed last night, so everything's a little damp and kind of quirky. <laughs> anyway, Suki and I are very obviously on our walk. Um, and yeah, it is a gorgeous day. And I'm going to get back, have my matcha, get dive into my courses. I've been writing. It's been wonderful. Life is good. Life is so good. Happy Tuesday. And uh, yeah, uh, I should probably also tackle the other parts of my closet. There's two sections left and I'm incredibly intimidated because there's a lot in those sections. In each two of those sections, there's a lot, like a lot. Anyway, we'll tackle that when we have a chance. But for now, we're gonna enjoy our walk and I'll check in with you later and maybe a little story time about that neighbor. But anyway, I'll check in later. collagen it's just it's amazing anyway so as I'm walking Suki there's always there's always at least one right because honking isn't enough so we're walking and this young guy like kid I mean obviously not a kid because hopefully a kid would be in school but young I don't know could be 18 19 maybe 20s screams out of his car hottie hottie listen i know i lost 50 pounds i know but hottie really that's the word that's what you're gonna that's what you're going with and also a kid that's i don't know i don't know what's the matter with kids today sorry my musical nerd is exposing itself but yeah let me tell you about my neighbor so as you know, I have this kind of creepy neighbor. He, how do I describe him? He's a big guy, not big as in fat, big as in like big, you know? And like clearly goes to the gym. 
and he, I'm pretty sure he's got a girlfriend because I see, or a lady friend, I don't know, but I see someone, a lady with him all the time. They walk their dogs together. Sometimes he walks without her, but he only walks one dog. So I don't know if she lives with him or they visit each other. I don't know. But whenever he catches me alone, and he always tries to catch me alone, that's the only time he interacts with me. When I'm with hubby, it's just a simple nod and a wave. But like when when it's just me, it's, it's a whole conversation. And the other day when he was waiting for me, I have to tell you, it was, it was a little scary. Please let me hear, let me tell you these things, all right? If you, listen, honk at me. That's fine, I'm flattered. I know, I, I, you can't help it. I get it, I'm just so amazing. Just kidding, I'm being, I'm being facetious. But, but at the same time, like, whatever honk at me okay make my day but don't like like this neighbor has stopped and slowed down and stared at me as he drove by and then like waited in his car for me to get to where he was as I walked and like just and then another time I was walking the puppy and he drove up to me and I didn't recognize him this time because I'm used to him having this big beard, but he didn't have a beard this time. And so I was like, total, I thought he was going to ask for directions, but I was already on high alert because it's scary when a man drives up to a woman by herself with a small, I don't have big dog privilege. <laughs> like, I have a little dog. And uh, when, when a man drives up to you and you don't you just don't know what's going to happen you just have to be on high alert you just you just don't know and so you know and he started flirting with me oh is it warm enough for you to walk outside today like and just it's just don't drive up to women and try and have conversations with them because we think you're going to kidnap us sell us into slavery whatever like that's the first thing that comes to our mind uh, maybe I guess I shouldn't speak for all women but for me First thing I think is today's the day I'm gonna die. <laughs> but I just, you know, live my life on high alert, I guess. I don't know. I've experienced things that have taught me to be wise and wary. But um, let me know in the comments if I'm being too sensitive. But I think I like, like, like when, when that guy came for me, you know, in, um, in Texas at the, that beautiful restaurant with, the beautiful lake and I was like I don't know is he just being Texas and turns out he he like chased me you know like he chased me with my family because just imagine if I had been alone what would have happened you know and so I don't know I kind of just go based on instinct and my instinct is danger <laughs> always danger <laughs> always Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. You tell me. I'm just going to enjoy my matcha. I'm going to get started on my courses and uh, I'll check in with you later. But I just wanted to like kind of get some feedback and I just wanted to know if you had any experiences like this because I feel like I'm not alone in this. I feel like other women have experienced this and other women are like, you know, not okay with some of the things that happen to them that men think, oh, they're being friendly or the nice guy. And it's like, it comes off as terrifying, <laughs> right? Maybe I'm crazy. I don't think I'm crazy. I know I'm not crazy. Like bad things have happened by women who trust too much. So it's good to be wary. This is what I've learned. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy my matcha and uh, just let me know. Let me know if this has been your experience. I want to know if I'm alone in this. I don't think I am, but uh, yeah, I'll check in later. So I was thinking about doing a salad for lunch, at, for lunch, for dinner again, but sometimes you just want more protein than veggies. And so I go with eggs and spinach. This is three eggs, which is probably a lot more than I should eat. But I'll give if I get full, I'll just give the rest to Sean. But here we go. I, uh, yeah, so there's your tip of the day. Um, sometimes you just are hungry and you want some protein, eggs, eggs and spinach, I swear to you. It's good stuff, it's good stuff. <laughs> oh, with the added benefit of uh, giving some natural 
happy food to the puppy because doggies love eggies. So just cooked it up and now she's a happy puppy. Yay! <laughs> Well, I hope you had an amazing Tuesday. Um, had dinner, it was the eggs. Definitely had more than I bargained for, but it's fine, it's fine. Sometimes we eat too much, it's okay. Anyway, I hope you had an amazing day. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I have a lot of clothes to put away, so I'll be doing that. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, I'll have time to do a little bit more of my closet clean out, and then we'll go and have fun with that. <laughs> Anyway, let me know in the comments below. Um, I don't know if you remember what I was talking about, but the whole, like, let me know if I'm alone in this or not with the men and the way they approach and, you know, just validate me. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow. Until next time. Bye.